Hi everyone, a project share and it's my first design team project for Flare by Me. I'm going to put all her links down below in the description box. And uh, our first um, project had to be either a banner or a fabric a lace book. And I decided to make um, a fabric book and mine is inspired by the talented Jeanette Begley. She is a Scrapping Happy XO Crafts here on YouTube. And this is how my fabric book turned out. Let's see if we maybe a little bit back up. Yeah. So as you see, it's totally inspired by Jeanette. She made one. Um, she did use different materials. Mine did not came as nice as hers. Hers is really looks wonderful. Um, and I tried to use as much items from Flare by Me in, in this book. I uh, left over some previous kits. Uh, my monthly kit which was a beautiful you kit and uh, some items that I purchased myself uh, from flare by me so this is how the front looks um here you see um, I covered the canvas which was in the in the kit with um, vintage lace from my stash and it's this um let's see in the back you see it better this French Chantilly lace this is lace that came in the kit. This was from my stash. This beautiful large applique is for sale in her Etsy store. And I tied it with a bunch of um, laces. And these two lace, this lace was in the kit. It's a beautiful soft vintage lace. And then the rest is from my stash. And here you see also, let's see if I can put it this way. Um... These beautiful appliques are from the store. Uh, the beautiful trim here, you see, is I cut it all separately. All flowers and leaves were cut, um, fuzzy cut it out and used here and there throughout all the book. It was a large, a, a big piece of lace with leaves and flowers. This is a flower from my stash. This is a button that came in the kit. Um, this is a beautiful... Um, beaded applique that she sells in her store and it's absolutely amazing and down at the bottom you see bottom you see uh, the lace from the kit and a beautiful beaded trim and underneath there is actually a no it's already on the other page sorry and again here uh, the applique flowers and then here again i almost cut it up all in separate flowers to use it as appliques so this is it so that's, let's go to the and we open here is a first page here you see another piece of this gorgeous lace and it's a uh, bling from my own stash and this was in the kit as well as well as this beautiful um, like brother young glass I in the side I used um, lace from my stash and this one uh, is a gifted lace um, I think this one is from Jean Rank and then at the bottom is lace from my stash and here you see it in the back side of the dangles. I um, forgot to mention this book is actually dedicated uh, to my favorite dog breed. And that is the Japanese chin dog. So you will see throughout the books pictures of my uh, Japanese chin dogs. And um, ladies with J Japanese chins and mostly um, images from Harrison Fisher. And all were found on Pinterest. Um, this is the next page. Let's see if I close it a little bit closer. Um, this beautiful lace on top is also lace from Flare by Me store. Um, as well as the lace on their side is from Flare by Me. Again, here you see the flowers that I fuzzy cut out from the book. And I see I lost the, again, a uh, blink piece. I will have to re-glue that. And down here, um, again, uh, this is an applique that was in the kit, which I also cut out completely um, in, the, in several parts. Flower in the kit, this beautiful um, lace came in the kit. It did have dangles, but I didn't like um, the dangles, how it looked at the bottom in the book. So I cut them off and I did save the dangles because I used them somewhere else. And then lace from my stash and the beautiful bling and flowers that you see in the middle were also gifted to me by Jean Rag. And then um, 
swirls, beaded swirls from my stash and again a cluster of three flowers the same as you see here but then fuzzy cut it and then this cute image of Japanese chins second page um, again the lace from the kit lace from a previous kit um, this beautiful beaded lace which I've been trying to hoard but was just ideal to use here uh, I was was one in a giveaway by Victorian Dreams by Lee, so thank you Lee. And um, these are appliques from the kit, again in the, in the bottom top, and it conceals uh, a pocket. And it's a vintage lady here with a Japanese chin in her hand. And here I put just a simple tag, which I made with the leftover laces, a leftover flower, and here. And it says, kindly the father said to him, I've left you to the end. I've turned my own name around and here called you dog, my friend. And I thought it was so lovely, God and dog, that I had to add this little quote in, in the book. Um, second page is also an, an art paint of a Japanese chin with roses. And again, you see a little several uh, snippets of um, lace from a previous kit, all flowers that I cut out separately, as well as this lace is from, a, uh, pre as from the pr spring kit, the previous kit, the beautiful um, rosettes came in the kit, flip back brace for my stash, this is a flower that came in the kit, it's actually the spray, and here at the bottom you see the beautiful brown like Chinese braid type of uh, of trim now I didn't do much dangles because uh, I wanted to keep the book quite slim and still it grew quite a lot the lace on the side is again another lace in the kit the stick pin was made with beads that I had in from a, one of the previous kits and this is how the two pages look like I in the beginning I wasn't that happy how it turned out but as I started to work on it I'm really I'm kind of like it how now it turned out uh, here um, this was let's see I have to take a peek now this is um, lace for my stash which I um, green tea dyed just to give it a more off-white color because I thought for this page it was just too stark white and here one of my hand crocheted butterflies, one of the applique flowers, um, flower trim from my stash. I added the pearls that came in the kit. There was a beaded strand and I see I lost two. I'll need to add again. Uh, my glue doesn't glue well. Um, there's a applique flower here and again the beautiful green trim. And on the side um, here... There's underneath here a lace from a previous kit. And then this is the lace that came in a beautiful U kit. And here you see a lady with a Japanese chin again. And this is one of the Harrison Fisher images. Next page also one of the Harrison Fisher images with a Japanese chin. And again just a layering of several laces came in the kit. Um... This is a bow from my stash, bling from my stash. This is a that came in a plaque from the kit. Um, the, the lace around the image is from my stash. Um, little clay flowers. This is a piece from the plaque that came in the kit. Um, the lace in the kit. And I see my. I need to re glue some pieces here. I think my glue gun doesn't heat well enough anymore, even though it's a new one. And underneath the glaze is one from my stash. I did try to use most of the items of the kit that, in a way that it popped up. Uh, the lace in the background was um, in the kit as well. It, it was a beautiful large piece. Next page. Yes. There's several pages. Again, one of the Harrison Fisher ladies. You see again a beautiful leafed trim. Love the shimmer on this with the flowers. And then um, lace from a previous kit. A flower that came from her store. 
um, applique that I cut apart that's from her store and this came from a previous kit as well and uh, next page again a Harrison Fisher image and the lace from the kit uh, lace from a previous kit flat back pearls um, lace from my stash as, as this is from a previous kit okay continue um, sorry I ran out of battery I will glue the two pieces um, with each other so this is, was the trim uh, as I was saying uh, the trim that came in a previous kit was the soft um, like the bows trims from a previous kit which I used the scallops and I layered the scallops uh, used then again this is one the applique from a kit and the flower that came with the scallops here and here you see again the flowers uh, from the trim and again on the top another one of the scallops with the flower that came with it these rows were attached to the flowers and a bling from my stash and this is page the other pages then the last page again on Harrison Fisher image um, on top lace from a previous kit lace from a previous kit <laughs> this one has a lot of laces from a previous kit um, lace from my stash this one is from a previous kit uh, lace that I had bought from flare by me added on the on the bubbles all bling pieces Um, this gorgeous applique came in a previous kit as well. The button came from, was in the kit as well as again the beautiful brown lace at the bottom. And he, um, you see another pocket page and I didn't make a tag for this one but that will be my second project. I made two tags. One turned out too big which will I uh, turn into a wall hanging and the other tag will be put in this pocket here. Um, lace from the kit, a flower from my stash and then a layering of again one of these beautiful applique flowers um, from this kit, previous kit, a bow from my stash. Uh, at the bottom is a, is a layering of uh, laces from my stash of which this one is a vintage and antique one. And on the top, one of the, go the gorgeous laces that was in the kit as well as the background. And then finish the corners off here. With these laces. Um, the lace that was gifted to me by Jean Rag. And then the book closes and as you see, it turned out quite chunky. But luckily I just had enough. Oops, I will remove the clothespin. I did do some... No, it doesn't want to glue for some reason it just doesn't want to glue on this one I'm going to use a fabric tag again and I've always trouble squeezing this bottle because of my the pain in my hands so it closes it was just the, the, um, the canvas was just enough in a kit to create this book I hope you like this let me know what you think. Um, I had fun making this and dedicating this to my uh, favorite dog breed. I quite like it how it turned out. Thank you all. Thank you. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for your continued support. And thank you all for watching and commenting. You don't know how much I appreciate this. I, it really, really means a lot to me. Bye.